Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a new release from Revolution and it is the new collaboration by Petra. So I'm going to show you around the packaging, show you around the palette, give you some all of the swatches, not some of them, all of the swatches and also I'm going to um, do a try on as well. So I'm going to be sharing with you everything within this video. So first of all I'm going to show you around the packaging. So this is the box that the palette comes in. It is black marble with, and I'm sure that it's rose gold, I'm sure that Petra said in her video that it was rose, rose gold. So I'll call this rose gold and it is of course marble. So you've got black with the rose gold there and then you've got rose gold with the black there you have got rose gold trim and then you've got revolution and then by Petra with a love heart there and underneath that it says 36 professional eyeshadows so this retails for 12 pounds so when you think that you're getting 36 eyeshadows for 12 pounds I think that is phenomenal value and we all know that the um, the eyeshadows from Revolution are just amazing for the price so on the back you get the ingredients there and of course it shows you the shades that you're going to be getting within the palette as well as being numbered as well um, it also says that it is cruelty free here so there's the cruelty free logo and it's got a 12 month shelf life on there for anyone who's interested in that so that's the back that is the front and then moving on to the actual palette itself now mine is already a little bit grubby because i've done this eye i have also done the swatches as well for you because there's so many 36 i thought we'd be here all day so this is the palette it is matte black i really love again that this is so different compared to all of the other collaborations i suppose they're similar in a way but also there are real differences with this palette so you are getting matte black then you have the revolution logo there and then you have by petra again that is in rose gold with the love heart i really like because we've seen a lot of kisses at the end of um you know names and things like that or revolution um and then a cross and then you know by um whoever the collaboration is with this time it's a little bit different so you've got by petra then you've got the love heart and again it says 36 professional eyeshadows on the back you have a sticker uh, again by petra revolution the ingredients and also the shelf life and that it is cruelty free as well so then when you open this palette up and again this one has been well thought out it has been um well there's something a little bit different by it and i'm sure that you've all seen it so this one actually opens like a book or like this so you open it up like that i'm saying a book because i think that that is just how i'm going to be opening it and i really really love the idea that they've used all of the space now i have seen petra's video for revolution and i've also seen her own video on this as well and i do agree with her that um you know a mirror in a palette for me is a little bit redundant because i never use it i always use my mirror that i've got in front of me today or if i'm out and about i have a mirror in my um in my bag in my handbag and i would never pull out a big palette anyway and not only that my bag is quite a small bag that i'm using at the moment if you've seen my um hauls that i've been sharing recently and it's not really big enough to have this kind of palette in there so i'm hoping that revolution is going to come out with some smaller palettes but when you open this up you can see immediately that you have some brights here and some warm tones and then on this side you have some cooler tones and some quite brights as well but this side seems to be a mix of brights and this side you've got a neutral to bright pink color story there um, i really really love the color story within this palette 
In fact, the reason why I went for this was this particular side. I know a lot of you out there love your brights and your warms, but this really spoke to me. In fact, if this palette only had this side, I would be extremely happy and I would still have paid £12 for it. I think it is a phenomenal palette, really well put together, and I just love the colours in here. And that is really what drew me to it. And I thought, not only do I like... Um, you know, purchasing the collaborations because um, I really like to support the people that Revolution are collaborating with. I also obviously like, I have to like the palettes as well. And so far I really have, but out of all of the palettes so far, this one has really struck me the most because this side, I thought I've got to get it. And I jumped as soon as I saw that it was available, I purchased it. In fact, I purchased one from Revolution, which I'm probably going to give to my daughter. Um, and then I noticed that it was available at Superdrug yesterday and I immediately jumped and ordered it from Superdrug. Not only because I know that it's a next day delivery service and I really love Superdrug's um, delivery service. I know that Revolution have had a few changes, uh, changes recently within their um, delivery service. It's now delivered by My Hermes, right? rather than Royal Mail. I noticed that when I checked out. And not only that, I know that they've swapped warehouses. So obviously, you know, there may be a few delays, although I must say my order's already on its way. So I did order from Superdrug. It's still exactly the same price. Um, there is a three for two offer, which I did I take advantage of that and actually picked up some more concealer and define because I love it so much and I picked up the concealer. So I purchased on a three for two, which I really love taking advantage of. Now what I'm going to do is um, now share with you, I'm just going to move my mirror so that I can put the palette actually in front of me because what I also really like is that all of the names, and I hope that you can see this, all of the names are underneath each shade. So on the back of the packaging, let me just show you this again, the shades are numbered which is great um, but I also like the fact that the names are on here. So it's just going to make my life easier to share that with you. And not only that, I really like to know the name of a shade. I just like that. Um, so yeah, we're definitely starting on this side. So I'm just going to make sure I've got the name correct. Okay. So I'm going to start off with my favourite side, the pink side and the cooler side. And we're going to start off with the first shade called, and this one is Savage. Now this one, or these ones particularly, these pink shades, is exactly what I purchased the palette for. And before we get on to any of the other swatches, I must just say that Savage disappointed me slightly. Um, you can see, and I've done the swatches all the same, I just, um, swirl my finger in there um, you know two, a couple of times and then I just go down once I don't rub it in or anything like that this I expected to be a little bit more pigmented and I've actually got this on the lid uh, which I'll be demonstrating in a moment so Savage is a shimmer but it just feels a little bit light to me it hasn't got the full impact that revolution shimmer shades usually have so that uh, shade there just disappointed me slightly i um, will demonstrate also with my try on that i do wet the brush as well but obviously i'll get into that in a moment the next shade is a matte and it's called omg beautiful then we have Honeymoon, which is also a matte, and that is your Pinky Peak shade. We then have a matte black called All Black Everything. Then we have this shade here called Couple Goals, and I believe, yep, that one is a shimmer as well. So that's Couple Goals. Then we have Green Turner, this one here, and it's a matte shade. And I really like that these are side by side and they go beautifully together. The next one is the next row. So that's the first six done. The next one is called Swiss Praline. This one is one of those shades that I'm not particularly keen on. It's a black with shimmer running through it. It, isn't, it is okay, but it's just not something that I 
particularly like to wear um, and it's probably going to be a popular shade especially over the party season coming up over the next few months but this is just not my cup of tea but it's nothing wrong with um, nothing to do with Petra nothing to do with the palette it's just not for me that's all um, the next shade is called weirdo and that's a shimmer shade there that beautiful shade then we have drugstore queen this one here which is another beautiful light pink shimmer shade we have wedding cake this one here which again is a shimmer shade we then have best friends again another shimmer and then we have this beautiful shade here called princess's dress absolutely stunning okay so the last row in this palette um this one here called cute AF which is a matte cream sh is it cream no it's a shimmer sorry I couldn't see then in the um, in the camera that's a shimmer it's like a peachy creamy shimmer then we have sweet tooth which is matte we then have get ready which is also a matte we have mousy which is a gray matte we have multitasker which is a neutral matte and then we have the last shade which is definitely matte and that is hashtag no filter so there are your first three rows there then we move on to the next side so i'm just going to turn it around okay and we start off with this one here and that's called b day girl so that's a shimmer we then have this one sorry i just need to move the palette so i can read the names it's very reflective so we have this one here which is called golden boy that one there and that's a shimmer we then have this one here called banana milk which is a matte and that is your yellow toned very light shade we then have um yes <laughs> yes that that one there that is your peach tone. Then we have apricot pie, which is, as the name suggests, very much an apricot. Then we have copper penny there, which is a shimmer shade, beautiful. Then we move on to the second row. And again, I really like this color and it's called My Precious. So that one there, that's a matte. We then have coffee first, and that's a shimmer. We then have standby which again is a shimmer then we have gossip there which is a matte hashtag which is a matte and then we have queen b which is that brown green or brown blue uh, duochrome shimmer there then we move on to the very last row so this one here is called pretty please we have this outstanding shade which is called hubby's fave absolutely beautiful love that so so much then we have canary there which is a matte yellow um brick trick which is a matte orange candy apple which is that matte red it um is red but it's also also sorry got a little bit of pink to it it's absolutely beautiful and then we have the very last shade called arm shook which again is a shimmer shade stunning so there are all 36 swatched for you now what i'm going to do is just turn this palette around and move my mirror back into place like that um, also if you're interested on my lips I'm wearing a Jouer one of the minis from my Christmas kits uh, last year it is called Dahlia and it's a metallic shade I think it's from the Deeps collection but it looks like that and this is what it looks like on the lip and I thought it would work perfectly with this look okay so to start off I am going to be using the eye increase contour brush from Primark and it's numbered 251 a very big fluffy brush and I've also got some other brushes that I want to share with you as well which I picked up from perhaps I'll keep that a secret for now um, so I'm going in with the shade OMG to start with which is this shade here um, that one there so I'm just getting a little bit of product there and then I am going to oops I've got a little bit of mascara there 
Um, I've already applied the base, which as always is the Revolution Pro Eye Elements in Central. So I'm just going to start blending this in. Now, because this palette is has some beautiful colours, I mean, it would be very easy for me to, you know, do a neutral look. But I thought, no, I'm going to go bright and breezy today so that you can see exactly what I'm doing and not only that I really wanted to wear this lipstick today and I thought this eye look would match perfectly so that is the base laid down I absolutely love it I'm so pleased um, that this palette does have some brights in here but it also has neutrals and I think for anyone um, I mean the color story of the summer has been yellow tones you've got a yellow in here you've got a red you have got neutrals you have got fuchsias you have got it all and I absolutely love it I think it's going to definitely be um, one of my favorite um, collaboration palettes to use. Now I'm going to swap over to one of my Primark Eye Contour brushes and I'm now going into the shade Green Turner, this one here. Um, it looks quite deep on camera but it's definitely got a mauve to it, mauve undertone and I really really love it. You can see that on the brush. So it complements the uh, OMG shade so so well. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to tilt my mirror like that. So I'm now going to start deepening up the crease. I think sometimes with a lot of palettes, you can put these really bright shades on, you know, in the crease and such, um, but there's never a nice deep shade to complement it. Um, but this green turner shade is absolutely beautiful. It works so, so well with that first shade. Um, and it has a little bit of pink to it. Like I say, it's got a mauve tone to it and it just works beautifully. I really, really love this combination. Also, these blend beautifully together. I'm hardly having to do anything and it's just blended like a dream. Now, what I'm going to do is just pop a little bit of green turner underneath the eye as well. I thought this was going to be too deep to do this with, but because it's got, and you can see, it's like, it's like a brown or yeah, a deep chocolate cool toned brown, but it's got it looks like the fuchsia has been mixed in because this is a separate brush. This is all I've got on this brush. As with all of these um, try-ons now, I use separate brushes. So there's no mixing of the shades. And uh, when you put this green turner uh, under the eye, when I put this under the eye, it just looks like it's got some of that fuchsia mixed in and it just works so, so well. I'm just going to pop a little bit more under this side. I just love it. I love, love, love a smoky under eye. It's just what I like to wear. And this is perfect. Um, that colour is spot on. Love it. Okay, now this is where the difficulty um, came from because I really wanted to use that Savage shade. So Savage is the very first one, that one there. Um, and I'm just going to get it on my finger now. I'm hoping, because sometimes when I say these things and then try them on camera, um, it works better. But I don't know what it is. There's just no, there's no color payoff there. Um, I'm hoping that you can see that. But I mean, I'm, I'm just rubbing that on my, you have to really layer this one up. Okay, so to, if you layer it up, it works, but it's not like, for example, um, I'm Shook, this one here, the very, very last one, that is totally different 
that is the last one there the bottom one and you know you could just tell the difference with the formula I mean I love the fact that Revolution puts different formulas in their palettes I haven't got a problem with it but I was just expecting it to be you know that soft creamy buttery formula with that Savage um, it's just a little bit dry um, it's the only one that's like it um, and it has I've forgotten what they what you call it now but it's gone quite flat on the top but it does still work I'm just going to get my brush and then put a little bit more over the top I actually found that when I wet the brush it again would not go on it just it just wouldn't work in fact it took the eyeshadow off more than anything so I'm not going to try that again it does look okay in the camera I hope it's coming off okay because um, you know I had to put quite a few layers of it on I mean it works beautifully um, once you layer it up you can see that there but it does take a little bit of work okay so that is the eye look nearly done um, I have to just add the inner corner highlight and I went in with Drugstore Queen which is that one there which is a beautiful light pink shade it actually looks quite um, like a mink color in the pan but when you swatch it um, sorry I've got my hands full with the palette and this brush um, it does come off a little bit more pink so I'm now going to just pop that all around the inner corner and I'm just going to then blend that into that shade there is it oh wait no omg savage beautiful like that absolutely love the eye look okay so i'm just going to lie the palette down i don't want to drop it and then I'm just going to find my eyeliner which is of course the Revolution HD Smoky Waterproof Eyeliner in Black and I'm just going to line my eye like that then got my mascara which as always is the Primark PS Amplified Mascara also in black so I'm just going to apply that I've already got a little bit of this on already because I've gone down to Superdrug and collected my order but I think that is such a good um, a good service from um, Superdrug. I ordered my or placed my order at four o'clock yesterday afternoon. It had already been shipped by seven o'clock yesterday evening. I got the notification and of course I can pick it up then at uh, by it's usually delivered within store by one o'clock and also if you spend a certain amount of money which I think is 15 pounds it's then delivery free and I think as a consumer that is the service that I've come to expect that's what I want when I order a product I literally want it the next day obviously if it's a weekend that's different but that's what we want as consumers we once we we um you know give the company our money we want the product as soon as possible and I know that there are other companies that are shipping and delivering within you know the mat a matter of 24 hours so Superdrug is definitely one of them and I absolutely love their service so that is my eye look using the by Petra palette from Revolution um, I just think this is going to be definitely one of my favorites it is absolutely stunning I am so drawn to particularly this side but then if I want I've got this side as well I think it's been so well put together the formula is amazing like I said the only one that I'm a little bit disappointed in is Savage but again you know you can make it work as I have done here so yeah I'm really really pleased in fact I've just missed one stage just to deepen that out and make sure that that is all done perfect 
So yeah, I mean, as always, I would love your thoughts. Are you picking this one up? I know that there's been a lot of collaborations released more, um, recently, more recently, but I must say that collaborations, and I've said this before, I really love collaborations. I love the fact that someone else is coming in and giving their input. Uh, as well, you know, giving all of their input. And of course, we all love Revolution eyeshadows. We have, well, for me, they are top. They are right up there. Um, they are the only eyeshadow that I know that I'm going to get absolutely perfect quality from. Even if I spend 30 or 40 or 50, um, which I'm always hesitant to do these days because Revolution is so good. But if I do go for a high-end uh, palette I am most of the time disappointed and think to myself why did I bother why did I do that when I can spend 10 12 pounds in this case um, and get a palette that is so so good the quality is there and I think that Petra has done an amazing job in coming up with this idea coming up with the shades to pop in these palettes and I really really love it I love the design like I say I definitely think that this is going to be one of my favorites I do have a couple of other favorites at the moment but obviously I'm not going to talk about them because this is all about Petra today and you know I think she's done an amazing job and I will be letting her know that as well so congratulations Petra you have done an amazing job and yeah I'm really thrilled with this palette I'm in love with it especially the eye look that I've created so of course as I said before I'd love to hear your thoughts I would love for you to let me know what you're thinking about the palette are you going to pick it up and of course if you have just stumbled across my channel I would absolutely love it if you subscribed to watch further videos and my details down below are from my Instagram I would love for you to check that out as well but again as um as I always say until tomorrow Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you. Bye.